This will be a destiny shifting episode for you. Listen to me. If you have been working hard and you are feeling frustrated at the same time that your hard work is not yielding the results you expect or desire in your career and business, then get a seat, get a pen, get a journal. It's time to shift your life to a new dimension of high performance and results. I always say that if you truly, truly, are a growth-oriented human being, then one of the most important things that you should be tracking in your career and in your business and in your life in general is the quality of results that you are generating. I have a question for you. Are you a growth-oriented human being? When was the last time you sat down and genuinely track the results that you have been yielding or producing in your life in the last five years, three years, two years, one year, or six months ago? When was the last time you did that? Are you even growing? Do you even know whether you're growing or not? Do you, do you really know if you're advancing or regressing? Because there is nothing like, I am just the same. I always say that if you think you are not, you are standing in one place, the world is moving forward. And as long as the world is moving forward, you are like somebody who is in a car and somebody is standing outside, right? The car is moving forward and even though the person is standing at the same spot, something is moving forward. Many people are like that person who is standing outside and the world is like the car. The car is moving forward and advancing while you are regressing behind. Why your endless hard work have not yielded results in career and business could be because of a couple of reasons. You know, the inspiration behind this episode came when I was having a discussion with a young man some time ago. You see, a young man reached out to me. Maybe he's listening. Maybe you are listening, right? Thank you so much, and you're a winner already after our chat. You know that, right? Good. This young man reached out to me and asked me for coaching. And in one of his messages that he sent on, on, on social media, he said, I have done everything I know and yet nothing is moving in my business. Right? Maybe somebody listening to this right now, you are in the same spot. You are like, oh my goodness, since I started this business, I have done everything I know. I have, I have done all I know, but my business is not moving one step. Oh, my career, oh, my finances is not moving one step. So in the course of talking with this young man, we, we discussed a few things regarding his business and his personal life. And one of the things we spoke about is what I will be talking about with you in this episode. You see, if you consistently work hard on something, you put in your best effort, and yet results do not commensurate with the hard work you're putting in, there is something you do not yet know about that thing you are working on that you need to know. Hear me very well. If you are working on something very, very hard, you are putting in your best effort every single day, but yet the results that you're producing cannot match up with your level of dedication and hard work, there is something you do not yet know about that thing you're working on that you need to become a seeker so you can know. You see, if you consistently work hard, give it all your best and still don't see the results that match your efforts, there is something missing in your understanding of that thing you're working on. Very important. Because when something is missing in your understanding, your execution will be incomplete. Your execution will be deficient. Your execution will not produce the same results like somebody who has that understanding. 
I have a question for you. Do you have the right understanding about that industry, that career, that business, that life that you're building? You see, hard work, also known as diligent work, is a reliable force that consistently produces results. Hard work, diligent work, dedication is irreplaceable in this journey of life. The difference with people 20 years ago and many of us today is that today we have access to more resources and to more tools, right? But that does not replace hard work. The difference is what somebody needed, let's say, 10 days 20 years ago to work hard on, you can work hard on the same thing in two days and achieve more and faster. Why? Because you are using more resources and more tools to do work more efficiently and effectively. Technology does not replace hard work. It just makes you to work smarter. I always say that smart work is your ability to work hard with the right knowledge, understanding, and the right equipment with good execution. That's smart work. Okay, so I was just saying that so, so that before people start arguing me that, oh, there's no longer hard work, there's only smart work. No, many people don't really understand what they're talking about. Okay, so smart work is the combination of the right knowledge, the right tools with hard work to achieve desired outcomes. So if you are listening to me and you are doing anything in any industry and you don't know the right equipments and tools and resources to use in that industry, you are not working smart. You are working very hard and you are going to be very frustrated. Okay? So you need to challenge yourself to have the right tools, the right resources, and be willing to do the right dedication and commitment and hard work. Why? Having the right tools and knowledge, but not being willing to put in the necessary effort is not smart work, it's laziness. Okay, so here are some questions I want you to ponder about if you are working hard but not seeing the right result. In the discussion I had with this young man, these are some of the questions I asked him. And you know, the coaching session was a blessing to him and it, it shifted his destiny and his business to a whole new level. And I am sure the same thing is about to happen to you. Do you have your pen and your journal? Let me give you a second to pick it up. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you got it, right? Good. Now, I want you to document these questions. Go sit down during your quiet time and begin to find the answers to these questions because they will literally shift the quality of your work and the quality of your results. Here are the questions. I ask him, are you diligently working on your career but not seeing progress yet? Ask yourself this. What do I need to learn about career growth that I might not know yet? What do you need to learn about career growth, about business growth? that you do not know yet. Remember he said he has done everything that he knows. And I was jokingly talking about with another person in a coaching session. No, he just reached out to, re to request a coaching and he said, I have done everything I know and there's no way out. I said, yeah, but you have not done everything I know because if you do everything I know, you will achieve better, right? So there is always something more to know. So you need to ask yourself, what do you need to learn about career growth, about business growth, about finance growth that you don't know yet? Number two, I ask him, what insights do you think you are missing about enhancing business growth and profitability? What insights am I missing out when it comes to enhancing business growth and profitability. You know, in, 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 in growth, you need to understand history, insights, and foresight. 
And insight is your ability to use every resource available to you and make, get access to the right decision making capabilities. So certain results may be far from you because you don't have the right insight to enhance that particular growth that you desire to see, right? So these two things are important because there are certain things that when you get access to and you start knowing, you start getting the right understanding or your revelation begins to becomes bigger and better. It changes the way you execute. And when the way you execute changes, your outcomes begin to change. You see, hard work in career and business should be fulfilling and not a struggle. But for many people, it's a struggle. They, they are enduring their career. They are enduring their business. They are not enjoying it, right? It, it becomes enjoyable when you know the hard work leads to results and it becomes a burden when hard work doesn't lead to the right result. I always thought, I always say that the quality of your quest, the quality of the questions you ask determines the quality of the results you get in life and career. Why? Because the quality of the questions you ask will begin to drive you to get the right insight and get the right elements and begin to fill some blind spots in your journey that will cause you to be a struggle or to endure what you're working on, right? So working hard without direction in your career and business will not take you far. So instead, you need to seek to understand the, the nuances and the differences of your work. You need to ask the right questions. You need to be ready to adapt your strategies. And, and you see, this is why people hire coaches. This is why people hire experts and, con and, and consultants. And, and some people even get experienced mentors because they open you up to these things that you will not find in any book, Right? And if somebody doesn't really sit down to walk you through certain things, you will get lost in many things, you see? So, and this will not only enhance your work, but you will also pave the way to greater success and satisfaction in, 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 in what you're doing. So before I go, here are some questions I encourage you to ask yourself before you continue working hard. Okay, it's all about questioning because it's going to shift a lot in the insights that you get, which directly influences the quality of your execution and your actions. All right, so here are some questions I want to challenge you to focus on again as a hardworking person. Number one, what specific goals am I working towards? my career and business. What specific goals? It, it is very, let me tell you, your hard work will not go far if you don't have any timeline specific goals that you're working on. Don't just say you're working hard on your business. No, by December 31st, the end of this year, how much sales have you set as your goals? How much have you set as your profitability? How much have you set as the number of customers that you will serve? How much have you set as your expansion matrix? Set them out. This is critical in hard work that will lead to results because what you cannot measure, what you cannot track, cannot grow. Okay? Number two, what are the key performance indicators for your business and how do you measure them up? Okay, so you need to identify key performance indicators, what they call KPIs. In, in a business, they, 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 they need to be key performance indicators from marketing to sales to supplies to number of customers to, to all of these things are important. Okay, why? Because when you have 
key performance indicators that you're tracking, you also begin to tailor your strategy and your insight and your execution to achieve those key performance indicators. So your hard work start producing results. You begin to understand what tools, what equipment, what knowledge, what support do I need to get so that I can achieve these key performance indicators. Number three, the third question you need to ask yourself, have you sought feedback from mentors, your peers, coaches, or customers recently? You cannot produce results consistently if you are not a person who receives feedback. Who, who gives you feedback in your life? Who gives you feedback in the work you do? Do you have a mentor? Do you have a coach? Do you have a consultant? Do you have friends who are in the same business or who are driven like you? What about your customers? This is critical when it comes to producing results. Because what you don't get feedback on, you cannot improve execution that will lead to success. The, third, the fourth question. Are you prioritizing your task effectively to maximize productivity and impact? This is one of the biggest blunders for many people in the journey of success. Many people don't know how to prioritize their tasks, their daily activities to focus on maximizing impact and productivity. I was in a Zoom meeting before I started recording this podcast and a young lady was sharing how she... She, yesterday, she spent four hours on social media and she's trying, you know, to convert. She's not a social media manager. She, she doesn't make money on social media. She's just addicted to it. You see, that is spending four hours of your life on something that is not maximizing your productivity in career or business or maximizing your impact in destiny. So you need to check yourself. There are many people claiming they are working hard, but they are just busy, but not working hard. There is difference between busy body and work and hard work. Hard work is diligence that leads to result. Busy body is being aimless everywhere and no result. Are you prioritizing your task every day effectively in a way that everything you're doing on a daily basis maximizes your productivity and your impact in your career and in your business? If not, you will always have this feeling that you're working hard and there are no results. Meanwhile, in the real sense, you are just busy. And busy body never produces significant, impactful result. The next question you must ask yourself so that you can start working hard and seeing your result. What new skills or knowledge do you need to acquire to advance your result maximization? Oh, yes. Let me tell you something. There are some skill sets. There are some there is, there, is, there is knowledge that until you acquire that knowledge, you will never yield the right result. There are many people working so hard and long hours with old skills and archaic knowledge that will never produce significant results in this dispensation. Basically, you are using 1990 skills and knowledge to produce results in 2024, 2025, and 2030. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're going to struggle. So you need to upskill and reskill. You need to relearn and unlearn. So that you can gain the skills and the knowledge that will equip you to produce results that match this dispensation. Next question, how well are you networking within your industry? Hear me and hear me very well. 
if you are one of those people that say, I am an introvert, I am a this, I am a reserved person, I am all of that. You're always in your circle, in your father's house, in your room. You're, you, nobody knows you. You are not expanding your network. You will work so hard for 10, 20 years and result will be very minimal. All the opportunities you are looking for in this world, you will find them in people. Hard work without opportunities will lead to frustration. Anybody you see that is experiencing results in life, they understand the role that the right people play in what they are doing. If you will get the right result in your industry, you need to network within your industry. You need to network with people ahead of you, people in the same level with you, and even people coming after you. You need to network with key stakeholders that are the movers and the shakers in your industry. That is your responsibility. Reach out and connect with them. The worst thing that can happen is somebody can ignore you, somebody can reject you, somebody can... That's the worst thing. But it doesn't mean that th there are no people who want to work with you. There are more people. I have been rejected and ignored, and I keep on reaching out to more new people. The ones that respond, we do business together. The ones that ignore me is cool. I keep knocking new doors. Life goes on. But there is one thing I know. I will not go far in whatever I'm doing without the right people and without aligning and positioning myself where the right people can find me. That is networking. You need to network. There are people who work hard every day, but nobody notices them. Hard work without the right people noticing you will lead to frustration. You need to network in your industry. When you ask these questions and you start doing these things, I guarantee you, your results cannot remain the same in three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, 24 months, 12 months, uh, 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 whatever, how long it takes. You will start seeing changes in, in, in a short period of time and in a long period of time and your life would advance forward. Okay, if you are listening to this without a pen and a paper, I challenge you to save, save this, sit quiet, listen to this, pick out these questions, and challenge yourself. In the next one week, two weeks, I am going to seek answers to this. You see, I, I, I mentor a lot of people, and there was a time I challenged a young lady this year. I said, I want you to stay off social media. Cut off a lot of people. Go in the secret place for one month. Reassess your journey. I gave her some questions to seek answers and develop an execution plan for the year. Her life changed so far because she was able to flip her hard work, the things she has been doing, and there is a new sense of result manifestation in the work that she is doing. I want to challenge somebody. If you have been working so hard and you have not been seeing results, take some time off. Reduce access to busy body and all of these things that you're doing and focus on yourself for a week, two weeks, a month and become a seeker. The goal is you want to re-strategize, replan, upgrade the way you execute, upgrade your mindset and your tactics and your techniques before you bounce back. And when you bounce back, when you hit, when you take one step, one action, you will get better results because you're doing it from the place of illumination, from the place of light, from the place of understanding, and from the place of somebody who is not guesswalking, but somebody who is strategic. I hope you are blessed. Leave me a comment. Tell me how blessed you were, where you're falling from. And of course, remember, share with somebody. Yes, share with a friend.
share with a sibling, share with a colleague, just share with somebody and God bless you. My name is Jaff Nui, Joy Burnt, and it was so, so good to come your way. Thank you for always listening. And of course, we will see you again next episode. Remember, you are rare, you are remarkable. Keep building that dream. Jesus loves you. Cheers.